in the heart of Mexico City. A great snarling beast of a metropolis with nearly 20 million people. The sounds of the past spring back to life. They are the direct descendants of the people who founded this city 680 years ago, the Aztecs. We formed this dance group as a way to preserve our Aztec heritage. Those of us who are aware of our indigenous roots are trying to find ways to rescue our ancestral values. In this city, the past is literally just below the surface. A few steps away from the Zocalo, a huge central square, we are not very deep. Archaeologists have made an important discovery, the tomb of an Aztec warrior king. What is this sculpture here? Well, this is uh, probably the biggest uh, Aztec sculpture that has been recovered until now. Beneath the image of the Aztec earth goddess, archaeologists say, lie the remains of the emperor Ahuizot, ruler from 1486 to 1502. The more important military conquest of the Aztecs took place during his reign. He was a great king, yes. He was a conqueror and one of the more, most important Aztec kings. The tomb is the most important archaeological find here in decades. Grave goods in a well on the site include flint blades and a human skull, a reminder that the Aztecs' religion demanded human sacrifice to nourish hungry gods. The distant past lives on in Mexico's people, most of whom carry both Indian and European blood in their veins. At the National Museum of Anthropology, faces vividly captured by Aztec artists stare back at visitors, their features mirrored by those of modern-day Mexicans. In the arid hills northeast of Mexico City at a place called Teotihuacan, Towering pyramids stand in what was once a city of a quarter million people, built nearly 2,000 years ago. Monuments like these are a source of immense pride in this country, even though modern Mexicans often have a complicated relationship with their ancient past. Mexico's seven million indigenous people form about 7% of the country's population. 89% live in poverty, compared with about half for the total population. Inheritors of a rich civilization, they are the poorest of the poor. We have to own up to the fact that we are a racist country and that we don't appreciate Indians. We admire the Aztec king Montezuma, but we don't help Indians today who are living in abject poverty. But slowly those attitudes are changing. New programs seek to preserve indigenous cultures. The Mexico City school system will even begin teaching Nahuatl, the language of the ancient Aztecs. Some say if Mexicans value their heritage, they will keep it alive. I feel very proud of our pre-Hispanic history. I think that lately people have begun to realize what it means to be Mexican. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.